It's the E-Commerce Minute, your daily dose of e-commerce, tech, and retail news with your hosts, Bart Moraz and John Suter. The E-Commerce Minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York, and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. Retail transformation is very much underway as traditional retailers close stores and file for bankruptcy at rates not seen since the Great Recession. In fact, over 6,700 stores have shuttered in 2017 alone. Big retail can no longer dominate in today's digital environment without reevaluating their strategy. How can retailers reinvent themselves to be successful in today's market? What do the new rules of retail mean for 2018? Download Sumo Heavy's newest white paper to learn the best practices and principles. The free white paper can be downloaded at newrulesofretail.info. That's newrulesofretail.info. It's e-commerce minute for February 5th, 2018. In today's episode, Stripe ends Bitcoin support. Four years ago, Stripe said it would be the first major online payments processor to accept Bitcoin. This week, the $9 billion online payments company says they're giving up on the idea. The company stated that cryptocurrency had almost become a victim of its own popularity. The time needed to complete a transaction has increased, meaning that payments sometimes fail. Skyrocketing transaction fees cause Stripe to view Bitcoin as more of an asset less than a currency used for online payments. Mining fees, the cost paid to people who provide the computing infrastructure behind each Bitcoin transaction, peaked in late December when people were required to pay $37 on top of any transaction just to make sure their payment went through in a timely manner. Transactions submitted without a high-end mining fee could take hours or days to process, at which the point of the value of a Bitcoin in U.S. dollars likely had changed. By the time the transaction is confirmed, fluctuations in Bitcoin price meant that it's the wrong amount, Stripe's Tom Carlo said. For a regular Bitcoin transaction, a fee of tens of U.S. dollars is common, making Bitcoin transactions about as expensive as bank wires. Stripe says it remains bullish in the crypto economy, and CEO Patrick Collison was certainly ahead of the coin on Bitcoin's rise. Collison told Recode back in 2014 that it was important for payments platform to accept a currency that anyone around the world could access, and that it could be a cheaper option than credit cards like Visa, which charge seller-side customers a fee on top of each transaction. Yeah. The Bitcoin roller coaster continues. It does indeed. It's, uh, I mean, the biggest thing is just the exchange stuff and then when it gets processed and things like that. So that's a little tricky. Yeah. Uh, like these mining fees totally put things right on its end. It's, um, I mean, even if you're going to buy... I know if you go to Coinbase, you still have to pay a, a crazy fee like that, right? Uh, well, it's a transaction fee. That's normal. Um, and then they lock you in at that price when you buy it, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, okay. So it's not quite as crazy. But so so <laughs> it's just so funny. Like you're trying to make a, a, just a, a regular transaction and you're paying this crazy fee on top of it. It's, yep. you know, you're not even sure if you're making money at the end. So no. that makes sense for them. <laughs> no, it's really not straightforward. I mean, it's it's going to take time before this becomes a thing and – and it's the world is going to go that way. Um, it just has to. Uh, so what? So so what is the solution here? It just the the transactions have to occur quicker so that they can they can nail down the actual uh, crypto price. Or what do you think needs to happen? Well, I think they need to when they're doing the transaction. I think they have to have the crypto price built into it, locked in. Yeah, locked in. Um, you know, picks it up from the market and that's what that, what you're paying for and that's how it is. And then, and then the, the reconciliation happens at the end. So it's a little tricky. Um, I because think we'll, somebody's going to we'll lose money. <laughs> so if you lock it in, you lock it on your end and the other end, you're either making money or losing money. Exactly. That's a little crazy. Yeah. It's quite a roller coaster. This cryptocurrency. Um, it is because if you look at it, you know, we just did a, you know, did a, a thing that there's a mall that just only takes Bitcoin, right? Like, that's kind of weird too. Right. And they have, they have their own coin that they're putting out as well, which they think is going to join all the rest. And uh, that's where it gets confusing for me. Yep. They're introducing their own coins, their own currency. Um, that's just going to become too, too polluted. Mm-hmm. No one's going to know what the right currency is anymore. Yep. I mean, well, I, I think this is, I think you're right. This is the way the world's going, but I think we're going to go through a really muddy, cloudy period before it's all, it all, it all shakes out. Oh, absolutely. It's going to be muddy, crazy, and you're still going to make money on it if you, if you do the right thing. So, all right. We'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. All right. Anything else? Well, that's it for today. All right. That's your commerce minute for today. We'll see you on the internet tomorrow. That's it for today's show. 
If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe, or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the E-Commerce Minute on your Amazon device. Just add E-Commerce Minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion, or just want to say hi, find us on social media, at Sumo Heavy. <laughs>